my friends, and thank you for joining me. Big day today. Um, we're approaching the end of season two. At this point in time, we're probably far ahead in the alpha. I would imagine alpha 6.0 is in full swing. Uh, there's probably been a lot of updates at this point, um, but the videos carried on into the future um, up until this point in version 5.5.1 0884. So I'm excited to get on to the alpha and start making videos around that, hopefully in season three. Uh, but to kind of start tying up loose ends, this is what we're going to do. So let us do that. All right, so I have been a busy, busy beaver boy. Let me tell you. Um, let me show you. Let me just show you what it is. It is what it is. And it isn't what it isn't. Here is the new world, my friends. I've been very, very busy working on stuff. Um, I read. Let's start over here. So I renamed my CV uh, Klim. I appreciate your design and everything, but I've kind of minimalized it uh, even more, as you can see here. It doesn't have any oxygen, nothing like that. It's just the bare basics. And I'm actually thinking of making a series of videos, maybe part of my tutorials. Uh, around just making very very minimal CVs that'll get you up and running early on in the game earlier on I should say and get you to a place where you can start farming stuff and uh, you know get the good get the good ships going good ship lollipop so speaking of good ship lollipops one of the first things I want to do right now get it out of the way before I give you a tour of the different changes and work that I've done um, is to print the bumblebee. So I finally gathered 7,500 iron, 2,400 satium, 1,000 cobalt. The rest of this is not too bad, but I was finally able to round up all this stuff. Um, countless trips to the auto miner, um, collecting different materials, salvaging things, whatever I could get my get a hold of to, to make that happen. But I did it, and um, in the process, I managed to also get uh, level 20 here, as you can see, and I've unlocked everything, obviously, and um, yeah, so doing really well in the game, approaching end game. It's, this is end game. I mean, let's not kid ourselves here. I've got pretty much everything I need in the game, except for a good CV, which I'm going to put out right now. Why can I not drop it anywhere? Is it too hilly? What's going on here? The bumblebee is very big, so maybe I need to be further away? I don't know. I saw it go blue for a second there, so let me see if I can find that spot again. I don't really care where it is. Um, and again, for anybody who missed the previous episodes where I was talking about the bumblebee, it's still in construction. So forgive me if uh, it looks like crap. I don't remember actually what it is or what, what it looks like. So let's see. Can I get it to drop anywhere? Oh, what the heck is going on here? Can I put it in the water? Can I put it on top maybe? What is happening? Oh, there we go. Found a spot. Usually water, in case you didn't know, water is always a good spot because it's super flat. Um, they may have addressed these issues, you know, at this point in the alpha, but still being on 5.5, uh, this is the way to go. So it'll make it sink, but it doesn't matter. It's waterproof, right? Oh, it's not that big. It's not as big as I thought. I mean, it's big, but... Whoa, Bumblebee! Whoa! Slow down! So you get in through the bottom kind of funny. It's got a little tail here, the stinger, to give it propulsion. Um, might as well go pick up this stuff here while I'm, while I'm here. Forgive the loud noises. They really need to tone those things down. It's way too loud. Can't even hear myself think. Ah, give me a headache. I gotta get out of there. So as you can see, the wing here is not quite finished. Um, I'm happy with the design for the most part, but I just want to accentuate it a little bit more, and, and you know, obviously complete it. 
there's better um, feet that I could probably put on it. Although those aren't bad, they just need maybe maybe more, maybe six. Um, yeah, let me get this thing straightened out here before I give you a tour of it, and then we'll take a look at uh, the base, and then maybe see if uh, we have any time left for some action. Wow, so I guess it's not waterproof. <laughs> okay. Um, hopefully that doesn't actually affect anything. I don't think it would, but you never know. Okay, so I got my constructor here, my cargo boxes. Where was my fuel tank? I can't remember. Oh yes, I had a room um, right here, I think. Is it here? Or is it down below? I think it's down. Is it down below? Yeah, it is down below. So... Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Is it here? What's that? Capacitor. Oh, I think it's in here. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while since I have um, been inside the old bumblebee. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, but it's true. Alright, so here's the fuel. Oh, I see. I must have... No, why did I do that? Hmm. I'm not sure why I did that, but anyway, doesn't matter. This is where we stick the fuel. Um, why can I not insert the fuel? Oh, it's a window. Oh, I see. I see. Alright, so that should be enough to last a little while. It's the good fuel. It's the goods. The good stuffs. So, now I can hopefully pilot this thing. But as you can see, it's an interesting design, no? I really like it. For a while there, I couldn't make anything that wasn't boxy. I mean, my, my, my thing, my creations are still kind of boxy, but I'm branching out to like, you know, hexagons and um, octagons and different shapes and designs and um, dimensions, you know? But um, the bumblebee, I was still in my boxy phase, and as you can see here, if I just give you a little show of what she looks like, definitely need to fix the feet, but um, she's got the butt thrust, and one at the bottom as well, so she's got pretty good uh, lift off for a, for a big, heavy uh, piece of machinery, it's got good lift off. Um, not excellent, but good. Very good forward thrust. Um, sides and stuff, I'm not too sure. It looks a little slow. Let me see. Yeah, so, up, actually, yeah. So, directionally, it's not the greatest. It has very good, <laughs> excellent uh, forward thrust. But everything else is, is pretty poor, so I might want to look into fixing that. So that's one of the things I'll do, not on this episode, but at, at one point, to uh, fix up the old bumblebee. But, um, yeah, other than that, guys, I'm very, very happy to have this thing back. Um, let me give you a quick tour of it, and after that... Whoa! Settle down, bumblebee! I was going to call her Betsy, but she's not Betsy. Betsy is uh, my new minimal Clem um, CV. What did I? What did I even call it? I forget now. I have to look it up. Oh, I didn't call it anything. Well, it's Betsy. Betsy Klim is what I called her. Not sure why it's not showing up now, but it's supposed to be Betsy Klim. And yeah, so here you have the main bridge, if you will, um, with the windows looking out. Let's go take a look in here. So here's where I have my cargo boxes, refrigerator, food processor, all that good stuff, ammo boxes, advanced construct. Is that an advanced? 
Okay, it is an advanced construct. Okay, I was worried there for a second. So that's that. pretty much that. There's not too much going on on the other side, I don't think. What's up here? Oh, here's where they have my oxygen. Um, medic station. You know. What's going on with the lights in this place? I have to get in the habit of um, disabling the thrusters instead of turning off the whole ship. So... Especially with those new uh, fuel packs. There's my uh, clone chamber. That's pretty much it for that floor. If we go down one level, here's the gravity generator and my capacitor and the warp drive and all that good stuff. Put that in there. I need to get myself some. Um, I believe it's Zascosium that I'm missing. One of those, anyway. One of those seums. But uh, to do that, I'm definitely going to take the bumblebee. Take it out for a rip. So here's my generator. And here's just access to it if ever I would have to, you know, repair it or something or remove it for, for whatever reason. And then you can get out through the bottom. So that's the bumblebee. In a nutshell, or in a honeycomb, if you want to look at it that way. Got to finish the wings on it, uh, a couple of other things, but, um, you know, I might restructure it slightly, but I like the overall look and feel of it. Like, it doesn't drive boxy, it doesn't fly boxy, so that's, that's, um, that's, an, that's the most important thing to me. So here's my garden. I've kind of elongated what it was before and, you know, reshaped it here with the pipes and everything. So, really like the way it turned out. Everything is white in this base. I'm not sure why. It's Hades, but everything's white. So, um, I'm taking a, a sort of uh, purity, I guess, approach this time. So, I've got my Ahax plants. I've got everything in the game that I can get so far, I think, other than maybe missing a couple more, but. According to the food processor, I've captured, I think, I think I'm missing one. Couldn't even tell you what it is, but I have most of it. Textured plant protein, there's the aqua berries, alien honey, we've got our corn, corn corn, space kava, we got uh, perthing fruit, tomatoes, space durians, pumpkins, wheat, aloe vera, and finally fiber plant, which has come in so, so very handy. Um, there's the beach. Really like this spot, too. I picked an amazing spot, I think. Love this. As the sun's going down. How picturesque. So, yeah, I hope you like my garden. I really love it. Um, I pick this stuff all the time, whether I need it or not, just going through it. It goes pretty quick. I can pick everything in about a minute, if not less. So, um, Next, before going inside, I'll show you my new SV. And um, so this is kind of a redesign of the spider, of the Frederick, uh, using kind of more defense, slightly more minimal, same weapons, a little bit more maneuverability and a lot more forward thrust. And so far it's it's worked out kind of well. Um, a couple things I don't like, and I'll tell you what I do like about it. Um, so what I don't like is the, the way that I'm forced to kind of put these walls up here. I can't think of any other way to do it. But to protect these things so they don't get blown up and from a drone or an attack from a, a base I gotta protect these things, you know, I can't protect the front, obviously, because it'll just... I've never tried, but... Just, you know what, let's try it right now, guys. But, you know, I, I can't, um... I can't do anything else other than just cover it up with wall. Um, it's been working, but... They tend to shoot more and target more, not the thrusters, 
or even the weapons, they tend to target these uh, shutter doors. Because this is where I have all my stuff. Right? So they're smart enough to know, knock out the ammo box, or knock out this shutter door first, then the ammo box. The AI is, is getting pretty smart on this game, so... Uh, and that just proves it. So anyway, that's the, the trouble I've had with it. One thing I don't like, it's very vulnerable. Um, once those shutter doors, which are not armored uh, at all, uh, once those get shot out, then everything's exposed and vulnerable. And of course, if you're flying away from something that's shooting you, then those things are going to get blown up. So I need to rethink this or restructure it or reinforce it. I don't know. So, but otherwise, yeah, like I'm like I was saying, uh, the the walls, not feeling it. The way that the the um, the feet here, I call them feet. The way the landing gear rests on them and is kind of using the thrusters, you know, I don't really... I like the idea of going under my ship at ease to fix things and whatever else. I can even store things underneath, which would make it more... Um, it would give it more integrity, but... Or, or protection, whatever, but because I'm using walls as reinforcement, then I, it's just enough where I can't pass underneath it, so... It's another con, another negative, but... You know, to touch on some positives, it, it flies really well. The forward thrust, because I've got two of these bad boys, mediums, um, it goes. You know, she goes, and there's barely any weight per thrust. So it's like pew, instant full speed, uh, which I really like, especially when you're going up and you're trying to get off a planet. Works out really well. The weapons are good. Uh, the homing missiles, I have upgraded to homing missiles here for the rocket launchers, and been amazing. It's been amazing. Um, I haven't even used my plasma uh, guns here at all. For other positives, um, it's very compact, as you can see here. We're not wasting uh, a lot of weight. Uh, every piece of material that's on here, you could argue, it is strengthening the whole thing by, you know, cutting down on vulnerabilities. My constructor is actually here. I used to have the oxygen over here, but I moved it up here instead and made this a two by two. And uh, so far I'm liking it. My only thing, like I said, is just figuring out some way to, and you know what I could maybe do, and I'm, I'm thinking of this now, is I could maybe set up like hollow walls here and just enough to be able to access it and kind of encapsulate the back of this instead of having shutter doors or maybe just have one shutter door um, anyway don't need to go into uh, theory crafting my my <laughs> my SV here but you get what I'm saying and yeah we wanted to test this real quick just to prove a point let's let's try with the regular block and see uh, and I'm gonna die of course starving myself again anorexic okay can I eat meat burger? Ugh. Sounds good. Sounds good. Actually, no, I'm gonna save that. Ugh. Sorry, the hunger pains are real. I'm gonna save that. Because it uh, gives more benefits than the can here. So that's that, guys. It gives me a chance to show you the inside of this place, too. I apologize if that's loud. Um, so here's the inside of my new slash old place. I've recolorized it a little bit. I felt um, a little bit of ennui, shall we say. Uh, with all the white, it felt very clinical in here with everything being white. So I put some color down, tried to color code things as I usually do, and it's been working out well. I know instantly where to go to get what, I'm not getting confused between what these different uh, cargo boxes are, so that's saving me some time. I've recently upgraded, as you can see, to fusion cells, and th these things, this has been running, I love these new fu these um, uh, fusion cells, because yeah, this has been running, this base has been running steady on full power for like two or three days on days and that's how much has been used so far <laughs> it's awesome if I was using hydrogen like I usually do because it's so plentiful 
uh, it would have gone, I would have used at least four, six, ten tanks, I don't even know. So, um, but everything's pretty much the same here. I did put a skylight, and I was thinking of continuing to build up. But I think what I'll do instead is just build a series of pods, kind of like this one, bigger, smaller, whatever, different sizes, shapes, as I need. But just keep building these pods and make it more of a modular design rather than being just another tower. So, because I tend to, to build towers for some reason, uh, which is not very efficient when you can just go in one door, out one, another door, and you know, straight into your garden, kind of like what I'm doing here. Um, one thing I should have done, you know, looking back here, if I want to criticize my garden a little bit, is I could have made it in a more of a circular design. So, you know, when you're going to get one particular thing that you need, you're always sort of, you know, coming back towards your base. Um, instead of having it be kind of, you know, linear like this and just straight, uh, it could have been more of a circle shape or some kind of a, a square, you know, you know what I mean. So there's that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'm going to continue this design. What I should have done, and maybe what I will do, uh, is I'll build another one of these, but I'll save that as a design, and then I'll be able to print, you know, uh, several of these things. If I want to make, say, another outbuilding of some kind, um, maybe a smaller version, actually, now that I think of it, a one level kind of thing. Like this is the main building, and then I'll have a bunch of smaller ones, which will be easier. Actually, I started, maybe I can incorporate these two projects together, I started um, making a minimal uh, base design, which I think I touched on in one of the previous episodes. You can kind of see it off in the distance there. I know it's kind of dark and hard to see, but it's a very simple, basic, you know, level, I don't even know. I'm aiming for like level 5 to 10 max. Um, Type of a base so it's going to have everything you need but in a very small compact design and the idea being that you stand in the middle of the room and just kind of rotate yourself towards what you need so you're never running around from your constructor to your oxygen to your medic chamber if you just turn around in a circle to do whatever you want to do once you're inside the building so that's the idea here and maybe i can incorporate that same design into my um, my minimal base design so that'd be an interesting idea so that's pretty much the base um, did I show you guys everything? I think I did you can go up here from any corner and uh, there's the big bird everything's good oh yeah the other thing is I wanted to print a Frederick that's the reason I need Zascosium you may have been asking yourself well you've already made your, your CV what, what do you need the Zascosium for and it's to reprint another Frederick. I want to have that one lying around here as a backup as well, but I'm missing... Yeah, so I'm missing six Zascosium. <laughs> Actually, I, I did some farming last episode. I wonder... or not last episode, but last time I played... I've done some farming. I wonder if I picked up any Zascosium. I thought I did. Oh, I did, but only two. So I'm still gonna need to go get some. Not even worth using that. Alright, well, good place to finish. Um, very happy with this world. And now that I have the capability to go from point A to point B so efficiently and so quickly, be it with the CV, the SV, whatever, I suppose the next step would be to make a good uh, HV. Start blowing up some POIs with it. You can set it up in a way where you just instantly destroy anything. <laughs> anything that opposes you gets squashed like a bug. It's great. Don't get me wrong, I love attacking POIs with my SV, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my, my technique, my strategy, but I always take so much damage, end up having to fly in, boom, 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 you know, as you've seen in, in my other episodes if you're watching, but having to do, you know, have a round of shooting, go back, uh, repair, uh, get back in, do another flyby, you know, it's it's tedious, it's boring. Whenever you can actually just pull up in an HV and just annihilate everything that's a threat, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to. So maybe that's a good uh, wrapper-upper for the uh, second season of our EGS. 
But it is uh, wrap up time here, folks. So I want to thank you for joining me, and uh, for for joining me on my tour of my base and my my SVs, new and old. I need to rename that puppy. Bumblebee is back in the house. Very happy. I love seeing that thing sitting there in the backyard. That's the best. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me on my little tour here, guys. And I hope you'll join me again next time for one of the last few episodes of our uh, Alpha 5.5.1 Let's Play Imperial Galactic Survival series. So uh, join me on the next one when we're going to... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't even know. What are we going to do next episode, guys? We'll figure something out. But we're going to start visiting other planets. Um, we're going to start blowing stuff up. And we're going to find a way to put this season to rest in a positive way, in a, in a way that's going to make it feel complete. And now that I've said that in my most dramatic of ways, I will see you next time, my friends. Goodbye. Take advantage of some nice hot java. Nope, 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 nope. <clears throat> Ooh, hot. Hot, hot, but it's good. But it's good, because it's hot.